I'm really happy with the decision today. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's been a while, and, uh, but I'm happy it's here. And uh, right now I'm gonna just try to focus on uh, recovering and not worrying about having to go back to prison or you know, just struggling. So thank you so much. And thank you for uh, respecting uh, you know, my privacy. So uh, the net effect of the decision today is that uh, Mr. Cotter's sentence is now over. So there is nothing further for him to serve. Um, it has been, uh, he has served more than the original eight years that was imposed on him in Guantanamo Bay more than eight years ago. Um, and uh, we don't anticipate any further legal proceedings in this matter. I would uh, emphasize, by the way, that there is no right of appeal from this decision, so it's a final decision. And uh, so we do expect that this is essentially the end of the road in terms of um, having to deal with Mr. Cutter's uh, sentence, that is the actual service of it. Uh, having said that, of course, his appeal from his convictions uh, is a very strong appeal and it uh, will continue to be pursued in the United States. It has been obstructed and delayed to this point, but it'll go ahead eventually and, um, and we do frankly expect uh, success in that appeal as well. So we think that these convictions will eventually be overturned. Um, and uh, I think it'll be determined that there was never any jurisdiction to try Mr. Cotter for these offenses. So all those uh, conditions that were uh, restricting his liberty up to this point are now gone. Uh, so for example, he can apply for a passport, he can talk to his sister, he can uh, travel uh, around the world or around Canada without having to first seek permission. And uh, that is largely the product, as uh, Chief Justice Murrow explained, it's largely the product of the fact that he's been on uh, He's had you know, perfect behavior since his relief, uh, release, living under these conditions, and there's just uh, there's no, no legal basis to impose them any longer.